hated the last few days not being able to talk to you. But if we're going to be friends, you have to promise me one thing. Sure, name it. Go easy on Hugo. He's Jack's cousin and you know how much I care about him. He's going to be a really big part of my life. We'll go through it all once we head out, but basically you keep the boat clean and you do what you're told. This is our other dickhand, Joey. I hired her as your replacement after you pulled out. And you're lucky we're having a very good season or Lou wouldn't have put you on otherwise. Jerry, it is never going to happen again. No, I'm going to get the mechanic to double check my car. I called her and she said that I could come in next week and do the interview. I'm just, I'm so sorry. I cannot believe that this has happened on my first day. You've got to be kidding, aren't you? All right, I'm done, boss. Anything else you need doing? No, mate, you can go. Good day's work. See ya. Yeah. See you, bro. Oh, where do you think you're going? Uh, I've got to go see my girlfriend. Now, hey, what about the night shift? Night shift? Gibson didn't say anything about a night shift. I didn't even know the crew went <laughs> No, nah, mate, no. Nah, like the pub. You know, beers. You in or not? All right, like I said, I've got to go see Belle, mate. Oh, mate, don't be soft. OK, count me in. Hey. Oh, you coming, Joey? No, nah, i still got work to do. Oh, can't they wait till the morning? Maybe, but I want to do it now and I want to do it properly. Oh, fine, see yourself. You can sell to spend, a Whoa, look at you, girlie. And I'll take that as a compliment. I thought you guys were just having Chinese takeaway tonight. Oh, no, I thought I'd surprise Aiden and take him to that tapas place in Yabby Creek. Well, I've just been so stressed out lately and Aiden's been copping the brunt of it. But... Wanted to do something special for her and make it up to him. Oh, that's nice, Dale. He'll love it. You make sure you have an early night, though. You've got your interview in the morning. Don't worry, I'm not going to miss it a second time. My editor would kill me. I'm surprised he even gave me a second chance. Oh, love, it was hardly your fault the car broke down. Yeah, well, you tried telling him that. <laughs> Hello, you. We're just talking about you. You're at the pub, but... Oh, yeah, no, of course, that's fine. Um... We can do it another time. Yeah, no, no, bond with the guys and... Yeah, have fun. I'll, I'll talk to you later. How is she? The surgeon's very pleased with the way it all went. Oh, thank goodness for that. Yeah, we've removed the expander and inserted the prosthesis. Everything went smoothly. So how long before she'll be up and about again? Oh, we'd like to keep her here for another day or two, but it'll take three to four weeks before she fully recovers. The surgeon will be in to see you later, OK? You hear that, love? All this will be behind you in a couple of weeks. Thanks for coming, guys. Oh, it's, it's no trouble. You can't go through something like this on your own, not when you've got family and friends who love you like we do. Yeah, we're just glad it's all over for you. Thanks. Colleen, uh, let's let Martha get some rest, eh? We can come back tomorrow and bend her ear again. Yeah, I'm pretty tired. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, sleep tight, Pete. Night, love. Glad you're OK. Hey, if you need anything, you just call, OK? Thank you, Irene. Yeah, You're thank welcome. you, Irene. Belle, I'm sorry. If I had known that you had something special planned... Well, you, you would know... have gone to the pub anyway? No, but like I said, it was a good chance to get to know the guys and you know what it's like with the first job. You... I didn't realise part of the job description was spending the whole night at the pub. <laughs> you know what I mean. But it's fine, it's fine. I'm so stressed out about this interview and I still am. Yeah, I kind of got that right. So, why don't I get you a coffee and we can talk about how extremely attractive you are. Oh, I would love that, but I have to head out to Mingo River for this interview and I don't want to be late. <sighs> Good luck, Dar. Let's just hope that jalopy of yours makes it this oh, time, eh? Oh, very funny, Irene. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, I've got it. How about you come to my place tonight and I cook you dinner? Maybe. Maybe. Bye. Bye, Harry. Bye, love. Excuse me, sorry. Do you know where I can find Mrs. Ramsey? Hmm, you just found her. Huh. And who might you be? I'm uh, Bill Taylor from the Coastal News. It's nice to finally meet you. What are you doing here? Uh, we had to reschedule our interview, remember? I couldn't make it last week because my... Didn't you hear what happened? No, what happened? Oh, typical. I should have chased you up, I suppose. The council moved the meeting forward. They voted on the motion late yesterday. And we're being shut down. I'm so sorry. I had no idea that they'd done that. Well, if you were any sort of a journalist, you would have. Just like if you'd made it up here last week, as you were supposed to, you might have been able to help. Wait, no, no, I can, I can still help with, with my story. We could rally the community. Oh, it's too council. late for that now. You and your paper have let us down, just like the council. Now, we have to be out of here, so if you don't mind... Uh, please, if I could ask you a few questions, I'm sure we can still put together an article that... 